Like, welcome back to the vlog. Like I said in the last one, we're gonna be doing some work on this fiberglass wing. What we're gonna be doing is carbon laminating or skinning it. A couple of reasons behind doing it. Uh, one for one for looks, one for strength, and basically because it's gonna be a lot of fun to do. Um, I wanna have a nice combination of textures and finishes on the front of the car, and I figured it'd be a nice touch as they're fiberglass and not steel to bolster it up a little bit, make it stronger, make it look a lot better as well, and wrap it in carbon fiber. So let's go. First step of this is gonna be simple. It's gonna take a few days to do, but first step is obviously keying up the part. I've already done that, so it save you the boredom of me, <laughs> me having a montage of me sanding stuff. So it's keyed up with 180, it's good to go. It's gonna give it a wipe down, a little clean. Black base coat's gonna go on next. I'm gonna leave that for a few hours, make sure it goes nice and tacky. Then we can lay the carbon over it. The black base coat means that none of this kind of color will show through the carbon weave and it makes it stick to it obviously. So we're gonna coat that and then put the carbon on. Okay, it's all done now. I'm gonna leave that to cure for about two hours to make sure it's nice and tacky so the carbon will stick to it nicely. We can mold to the part. I mixed up not that much of that base coat, about so in the cup, and I've still got about, what, probably over half left, so it goes a long way. So if you do do this, then make sure that you don't kind of go crazy with the, uh, with the base coat. You can just obviously mix up more if you need it, but that's a wing, obviously, <laughs> and um, that's how much base coat I've got, I've got left, so quite a bit in there so up that line yeah so quite a lot so about half of what i mixed up so lesson learned next time i need to mix up too much which, which is good goes a long way i've got more for the next wing plenty of plenty of stuff for the next wing so i'll leave that to dry now um wait till that goes nice and tacky That was mildly stressful. Um, <laughs> obviously I've never done that before, so a um, bit of a learning curve, a bit of a steep one, but it's all on. Um, pretty happy with that. And next we're gonna let this dry, so I'm gonna let it dry for a day. Um, they say eight hours, but it's gonna only leave it for a day. They're gonna put the first coat of resin on it after that. Then after that first coat of resin is all cured, we can trim all of this excess up, all these bits around here, these frayed edges, just because it's gonna be, it's gonna be solid, it's gonna be, you know, impregnated with the uh, with the resin so we can we can trim it up um get it all nice and neat and then you know de-nib it kind of get rid of any kind of little high spots and then go for more coats of resin so um yeah go next As you can see, that's all wetted out. Now what I did to air on the side of caution is after that it was kind of like tacky, but a second coat of the resin on there purely because when it comes to rubbing it down tomorrow, um, I don't want to go, you know, bust through any of the actual carbon itself, any of the weave. So I put a little bit more material on there. So I've got more material to work with. Now for me, that's a bit more comfortable. So tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll trim up all these edges here. Um, you can see, there you go. You can see what it looks like this. So I've got to flat all that down another three coats flat it down again and one final coat but yeah we'll trim all this stuff up first get it all out of the way um yeah flat it down and put more resin on it all right it's the next day that's all dry it's pretty solid i'm gonna rub that down with some uh with some 180 get that work uh, keyed up and get it smooth uh i might i might trim up the edges and bits and pieces before i put the extra layers on I'm not sure yet see how this goes but um, yeah let's go
obviously I'm not going to bore you with just a montage of pure sanding because that's what most of this is at the moment, that and drying times. So quick recap, let, put the base coat on, let that dry for about three hours, put the skin on, let that dry for about eight hours, two layers of resin, left that to the next day, flattered it, another two layers of resin, left it to the next day, flattered that. That's what we've got right now. So we're going to do one more layer of resin. After that layer of resin is done, um, we can do kind of the final flat and polish, you know, kind of like a finer flat and polish. But I'll probably do that on the car purely because it's going to be easier. It's not going to be wibbling around or anything like that. Um, but yeah, we'll go with the last coat of resin. So it's pretty smooth, obviously. Um, didn't really go crazy on these areas down here because you're not going to see any of this stuff. Um, but yeah, the front's going to be um, the smoothest. Well, the top's going to be the smoothest. Don't worry about this because that's the uh, that's where the wind is going. Yeah, let's go. Put last coat on, it's going to take another day to uh, to cure, then I'll flat it down and put it on on the car. I'll start with an 800, wet and dry, flat that down, work through the grades, get it polished up, get rid of all of the little imperfections there. But I'm going to do, obviously, the top down to about that line there. No need to do down there, it's already kind of shiny. So uh, yeah, we'll polish it up, um, and when that's off, this trestle, I can put the other wing on. There's the other wing there. I'll put that on and start with, uh, with that side. And luckily for you, you won't see any of that process because who wants to see the same process again? And just like that, it's all polished. Now, obviously I've paid way more attention to the top than I have in the lower parts, but um, yeah, it probably could do with a little bit more work. Um, something I can do later on, but really, really happy with that. All right, quick round up of how I got to that finish in the end. I went 600, 800, 1000, 1500, 2000, and 3000 on a Trizac disc like this on a DA and then went off the cutting compound on a pad and then just buffed it up so it takes a while but it's well worth it in the end. Now in terms of materials and cost it cost about £150 to do this the materials I used were from these guys Focus there you go Easy Composites now the XCR system this resin here really good um, UV protected so I don't need to lacquer it I could do if I wanted to, but you don't need to because it's got UV protection built into it. And the other thing you don't need to do with this is you don't need to use a heat gun to get all the bubbles out. So the finish is you know, a bubble free finish. Um, goes in nice and smooth like that. So I'll show you an, a, a real close up. The focus is there. So yeah. It's a really good finish. So I hope you guys like that. Next video, we're gonna be putting it all together. Um, bits and pieces kind of scattered all, all over the place. So we've got all the stuff down there, splitters, fenders, whatever. Um, the other fender is right there, or, or wing, ready to go. So next video we put it all together. I hope you guys like this, it's a bit of fun. Um, never done anything like that before, but it's turned out really, really well, thank God. Um, <laughs> and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Subscribe, you fools.